I'm trying to do in this a thousand times. Is there a raccoon on my... I think there's a raccoon on my porch. <laughs> hey, y'all. Good morning. Actually, good evening to you. Good morning to me. This is the morning of the night that you will be seeing this. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, I had plans to post my bathroom remodel uh, tonight. And, well, uh, I ran into a few hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> more than a few hiccups it's a disaster um it's gonna definitely take me this weekend to really get in and i need to take that trash out to really get in and like get it the way that i want it because i'm not about to do a half butt and i'm not about to do rush it to get it done so that i'll have content um because this is my home i want it to look nice and i want it the way that i want it and i want it quality i know a lot of y'all think i ain't about quality but i promise <laughs> Quality is my mission. <laughs> so hey, what's up? Did I, did I introduce myself? Hello. Howdy. My name is Marina and This video goes up tonight <laughs> And I don't have nothing filmed and I promised five videos and I don't go back on my word So five videos it is and they're gonna be good videos because I'm not just gonna throw something together and put it on my Channel either because my channel is important to me and much like my home quality my version of quality <laughs> how did we get on this oh so I was like well, what can I do you know I can't post my bathroom I gotta do something that I can do relatively quickly and edit it and upload it while getting my normal life things done homeschooling the kids cleaning the house cooking all the meals I was originally going to paint all my trim and do all the baseboards and basically like call it an, a finishing unfinished projects video but you know what the past few videos I've had quite the amount of turds come in and mention how lazy I am and how and how they can't believe I have any subscribers because because I live in an unfinished house. <laughs> Y'all, what you do is subscribe to somebody who lives in an unfinished house. <laughs> so I was like, no, they're gonna think that I'm doing that because they told me to, and I would rather eat a hot Cheeto in a desert than do it now. Consider it just, it'll never get done. I'm just, I'm just kidding, I'll probably do it next week sometime, but I ain't about to do it now since they told me to. You bet, if you want me to do something, you better not be a turd and tell me to do it because it just won't get done. <laughs> so so what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna like bring y'all along I've got I want to finish those cabinets up there because they're still top paint y'all I literally <laughs> painted those two months ago and they're still top paint and it's getting really gross because I'm trying to wipe off the stuff that gets on the white cabinets because you know stuff gets on white cabinets and I can't wipe it off because it's chalk paint. And when I do wipe too hard, then it wipes the chalk paint off. You just, you gotta have a finisher on your cabinets. And I had intended on um, finishing those sooner than now, but y'all, my life is so busy. <laughs> like, I'm go, 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 go. If you, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know, like, I'm up till two in the morning and I'm up in the morning at like by seven in the morning, seven to eight. I'm busy. <laughs> so we're gonna get done now when I'm crunched to get in some content. And then um, I'm also gonna show you guys a dinner recipe. I'm gonna throw it in the crock pot. Gotta make the kiddos breakfast. Gotta tidy up around the house a little bit. What else do I gotta do? I don't know. We'll get into something. I'm sure we'll get into something. You look at me like I'm crazy. All I got in my little lime green spray bottle is some pine salt mixed with what little bit of method was in there and some hot water. For something real, get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, I, With your colors, they kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it. There's something different about us and the reason why we stay. Y'all, this makes me so sad. I'll, let, I'll leave this sitting on my stove for decor purposes, right? Well, obviously, my priorities aren't right. Y'all know I, I prioritize decor over everything, but I left it sitting on my eye. And then I turned the stove on and I forgot the stove was on and my stove was preheating for like 12 hours and I tried to get this off the eye and it was stuck to it and it literally melted it. Oh, I'm so sad. Don't ask me why I put salt in my bull and eggs. I cannot tell you. I was sitting here watching this back and I'm like, wait, why do I do that? I don't have an answer. I've just always done it. I don't, I don't know why.
Pouring cup after cup after cup. Yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life. Real life. Yeah, we're loving the way they. Y'all, look how dusty my crock pot lid is. There might be a little dust on the crock pot. Don't let it fool you about what's inside. It's going to be some pork chops in the crock pot tonight. It's going to have cream of chicken because Shane hates cream of mushroom. We fly around like paper planes. They never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us. Still they want to tear us apart There's something different about the way we are Okay, so the eggs are boiling, dinner's in the crock pot. I'm gonna go weigh myself now. Cause it's been one week since I weighed myself last time. I'm not getting my hopes up. Um, I'm just trying to be healthy. I'm just trying to be healthy for my kids, for me, for you guys, for Shane, for Jesus, for every, I'm just trying to get healthy. So even if I didn't lose weight, even if I gained weight, <laughs> um, my goal, my goal is and will always be just to be healthy. You know, I want to be here for y'all because I know a ton of you guys are starting this journey with me. And I want to be here for you guys for support. Not fake support. Not only showing myself and my face when I lose weight, but showing the difficult parts of it too. Like, hey, sometimes it's not always good milestones. Sometimes you go backwards. Sometimes you plateau. Sometimes you some weeks you have bad weeks and you eat like crap for three days and only eat good for four days you know what four days is better than no days so i want to be here and i want to show my face even though it is completely embarrassing to show you guys that i've let myself get this way it's not only embarrassing it infuriates me but i just look at it as you know what i did let myself get this way it this this happened but the blessing that's coming out of this because God always promises to work things out for our good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The blessing is that I'm here where I am now and you're there where you are now. And if you're starting this journey, I'm starting with you too. And we're not starting it alone. So the blessing out of it is I can bring all of you guys on this journey with me to show you that, yeah, you can mess up your life a little bit here and there. You can get derailed, but it's as easy as starting over. It's as easy as starting over. When you have a bad day and your day is tutti fruits. I'm having to use like, you know, <laughs> safe words with my kids. So I can't say the words. They know how to spell. But, okay, I just, re that here's me just realizing like, oh, well, they know how to spell. So <laughs> it's basically the same thing. <laughs> um, but your day can be tutti fruities. I mean, it can just slam dunk in the toilet. <laughs> All you have to do is start over the next day. So, like, yesterday, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't have a really good day. Um, I got quite a bit of hate comments. And I don't care if I have comments that disagree with me. I leave those usually. Like, if I have comments that, like, that are like, girl, your house is nasty. I won't necessarily delete that because that's their opinion. And sometimes it is. <laughs> I mean, look at these dishes. Sometimes it is. Um, so I'm not going to delete that. I'm not going to take away their right to voice their opinion, even though I wish they would do it in a nicer way and not as rude way. Um, I'm not going to take that away from them, but don't get on here and be like, 
your husband is so fine and he's with you out of pity. And what's wrong with her husband in the head that he's staying with her? This is what a lazy excuse of a mom looks like. If you guys will stay in the comments and monitor them for a while, like you'll begin to see it's not fun. And then you get some of them that are just hilarious. Like, girl, eat a carrot. <laughs> Like, and I'm like, I'm not going to touch one now because you told me to. <laughs> I'll never eat another carrot for the rest of my life. <laughs> no, but yesterday wasn't a good day because like it was, I was getting behind on my tasks. I, I don't like being behind. I'm a perfectionist to my core. I do not like being behind on stuff, but I was behind. I don't necessarily snap at my kids, but I wasn't as involved I'm, i always love being involved with them i like taking time out to like talk with them just about what they want to talk about like if colton wants to talk about like yesterday he was learning about spain he was learning about everything to do with spain and he got hooked on olives and if you if you're on my instagram you saw that like i got a clip of him while he was doing his while he was doing his lessons on uh spain he like made this little jingle about olives and we were talking about olives and like the important importance that they have in Spain and I like doing that. And when, when I have days where I feel like I'm so busy that I don't get to interact with my kids like that, those are the worst days. I would rather my house look like an episode of Hoarders before I, I let it etch out on my time with them because let's, let's face it, we are homemakers. Mothers are homemakers, but mothers are mothers first. So like today, I'm about to start my cabinets. If I don't get all my cabinets done in a day, that's fine. They don't have to get done in a day. I can get the lower cabinets today and maybe in a few days get the upper cabinets. I find out that a lot of the reason um, that it takes me so long to start something is because I get overwhelmed by it. I'm overwhelmed by the thought of it. So if I break it down for myself, I find out it's actually not overwhelming and it's okay. It's okay. But I have to promise the perfectionist in myself that it is okay to do half of a project and leave it the other half unfinished and then come back to it. Like my tram per se. We talked about it at the beginning of the video. <laughs> it is unfinished. But I have been doing so much that I want to do and I'm having fun with. Tram does not excite me. Does it need to get done back there eventually? Yes, it does. But I would much rather do an island makeover. I'd much rather decorate my house and make it all pretty. And that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't have to look perfect. My house will never look perfect. Even when I'm an empty nester, I'll still have Kimmy. It will never look perfect. <laughs> so I wanna get on here and encourage you guys who get on there and like, girl, how do you do all this and stuff? It's not overnight. And you do not have to get it all done. Do not refrain from starting the project that you want so bad to start because you're overwhelmed by how big it is. Break it up into little parts. My very first video that went haywire on here, I think it's at almost 30,000 views. That was a kitchen remodel. That kitchen remodel, took place over, over two months. I didn't do that every day. I woke up and I was like, okay, I gotta go put down the floor. Okay, next day. I, no, I have kids. I have a husband I love, I wanna spend time with. That took time. It's gonna take time, but it's okay. The end result is so worth it. Time flies, close your eyes. Imagine you could see everybody. lost an egg in the sink is it salvageable no it got an old spaghetti stuff so. if y'all have any tips and tricks on how you peel eggs for deviled eggs really easily leave them down in the comments below please because i don't know i hate peeling eggs and i have all of these eggs to peel It's hard. These are mutilated. <laughs> and this one, I'm pretty sure I just got the yolk. I shelled the yolk. <laughs> I had to call my nanny to see what her devil eggs recipe was because I've never made them. <laughs> Actually, I lied. I have made them. They were just really bad. I had to throw them away one time. 
So she doesn't use the relish. And she's like old school. So she goes by taste. She don't ever. I don't ever think she measured a thing in her life. But she uses apple cider vinegar, uh, mustard, and mayonnaise. And then what I did is I put like half a cup of mayonnaise. And I put like 12 squirts of mustard. <laughs> and then I put like probably a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. They turned out pretty good. My kiddos are eating them like crazy. If you're wondering why my toenails still look like talons, I'm just waiting until I lose weight so I can bend over and cut them. Just kidding. I lost my clippers. Obviously, I think it's safe to say that an organization video <laughs> will be coming soon. But I've got the inside coat drying. Obviously, these are going to take two coats because they were still brown. Um, so, I'm going to let those dry. And then I've got to tackle the front coat. And then I'm going to go back and do a second coat on the back coat. While the cabinets are drying, I'm going to flip these. It didn't say to flip it, but I'm going to flip it. Okay, but one disintegrated. I I swear I cooked more than four. I know I did. There it is. Okay. <laughs> so i hope that i encourage you guys to get something little done around your house today don't stress out over the little things it's you can always get it done there's always tomorrow and if there's not then you're in heaven and it don't matter anymore i hope you have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you're at and i love you all so much